All right, it's day two of testing the Julia Volkova AI and I'm discovering some things like yesterday I think I mentioned on the edit some of the problems that I was experiencing. I recorded various songs and the only time it actually I'm with Julia is when I do like I'm doing now with semi-convincing Russian impersonation which is um Understandably something you may also face, emulating various voices. One almost has to has a pronunciation is not the same, then it was very similar. And also, take into account the pitch of the voice, like for instance, I have said instead of plus 12 semitones because I have deeper voice in actuality, I have set it to zero and forced myself to speak in approximately the range that Julia herself speaks. Also think about you have to adjust the silence threshold. The candy on the kind of mic you are using. I myself am using just simple laptop mic although you would not know this because the AI itself is trained on studio acapella. No worrying about shit mic for me. It's been about an additional a thousand year plaques. Approximately 3700 if I'm not mistaken. I changed a couple additional parameters which have um, kind of increased the accuracy of detecting say like when I'm breathing, whenever I'm sighing a little bit better pitch recognition. So let me know how you like the results in the description I will actually read this. Uh, because this is actually quite usable for a, a recording purposes if you have shit mic. I have released song, you can also find it on Reddit. Let me just go and check right now. Making an AI model of Julia Volkova's voice pre-cancer. And which you can find on Reddit. For the yes of the video, I will try to talk in my normal voice. But I will stay in the same pitch, and you can see how much the AI actually changes depending on what my intimations are. Now if I go to my normal speaking range, you hear a pretty significant difference. This is the only thing that's a little frustrating to work with with the software, considering I have to change the pitch of the actual output, which would make it difficult to use it in a recording situation. It's also going to be difficult to use live, because there is a significant delay of about, I would say, 0.3 or 0.4 milliseconds. If someone has a faster GPU, I expect they would be able to significantly reduce, but not completely eliminate this delay. Some GPUs that I think would be absolutely fire if you could get for use with this particular program. So if it's a CC fork, think Tesla, which I don't even know if it's consumer grade. I haven't looked all that much into it, but I see a great potential for fighting one's identity for being able to compose songs and get out your backlog for overcoming situations like say bedroom producers like me I don't have a nice mic actually I do it's just at my other place I'm in the process of moving right now but I see a very bright very scary future and I think I'll just leave it at that but going back to the cards that could be useful for actually making this work in your favor I would say the, the GTX 1060 is Close to the bottom of the barrel, that's the card that I'm currently working with right now, I would say like a 3060, any of your typical will it run cyberpunk GPUs would work, you can also look into external GPUs, but don't think that you can't do vocal AI by yourself, you absolutely have to use Colab, you don't. Um, I personally found Colab to be even harder to set up than trying to just knock it out in Anaconda 3 myself. It's as simple as I went, I found the fork, I found a couple of tutorials, shout out to Petro, and then going and just manually, I manually clipped every single acapella that I have, and it worked just fine, it just took about a week to render it, which, I mean, for the utility that I've gotten out of it, but I'm actually pretty impressed, um, I was able to record a rap that I had written with years and years ago that had just been sitting around on my computer and actually use it, so... And it sounds much better than my own voice. You can go and see, um, you can check out my new grounds, which will be in that link. And you can objectively compare my actual voice compared to the AI voice of Julia Volkova. Like, it's obvious. There's a reason why she's a studio artist and I'm not. 
I think I mentioned all the, the cards you like to have, um, not necessarily by name, but you can do your own research. There is one additional thing, which was assigning more computer workers, which I didn't even know how to do, but I didn't even really need to do that, so. Anyway, that's all I got. Check out the description, check out the Reddit thread, and have a great day.